today my name's Eric as always I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today on this episode of smoking I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy taco boats now I got the inspiration uh, for this uh, recipe from another fellow youtuber I'll leave the link below it's girl gone grilling and uh, she made this recipe and man I'm looking super excited now this isn't an authentic taco recipe I'm not claiming it to, to be it's an Americanized version we're gonna do uh, ground beef and onions some green uh, enchilada sauce some green chilies I got a can of black beans some cheddar cheese yeah we're gonna put these together the star of this show really are these soft tortilla bowls that I discovered from Old El Paso. Obviously you can use regular tortillas, flour tortillas, but these are kind of cool because they're shaped like a little bowl so it's easy to kind of put in a tray, fill them up, and you can either finish them off in the oven or a smoker. Absolutely delicious and a great food this time of year when the game's on. You want little finger foods, little finger snacks to eat. These little uh, quick and easy tacos are going to be absolutely delicious and a big hit with your friends and family. So stick around guys, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright guys, so I took half an onion. It's a uh, sweet onion. You can use a yellow onion, red onion, it really doesn't matter. We're just adding some flavor to this. And I've uh, put a a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of this Dutch oven and we're just going to saute this onion for a little bit, a little bit here kind of get it nice and soft and then we'll add the ground beef but we'll give this a little bit of a head start kind of brown up a little bit all right guys be back in a moment all right it's been a couple minutes the onions are starting to get soft, a little translucent. This is fine. We just want to get a little bit of a head start on them. Now I'm going to add the ground beef. Recipe calls for a pound. I think this was like a pound and a quarter. This is 85.15. It's okay if it's got a little bit of a fat content in it. So we're just going to break this up, kind of stir everything together. Let it kind of come together. If it needs to be drained before we add the other ingredients, we'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, this is like super easy, guys. And so I would highly recommend this because it's a quick and easy family dinner. It's going to be absolutely delicious. We'll let this cook for a little bit. Be back in a second. All right, guys, we're going to mix together a sauce that we're going to put on these taco bowls when we're done. It's uh, two ingredients, sour cream and then uh, green salsa. We have this uh, 505 Southwest Medium Flame Roasted Hatched Valley Green Chili. That's a mouthful. Yeah, that is a mouthful. So basically, this isn't rocket science. We're going to mix a little bit of the green salsa and sour cream in a little bowl. And uh, we're going to stir it all together. And the reason we're doing this now, while that ground beef is kind of simmering, is because we want it to kind of sit in the fridge for a little bit kind of have those flavors come together in this video that I got the inspiration from from Girls Gone Favorite. Grilling she had some kind of really cool jalapeno sour cream I looked for it in the store I couldn't get access to it so we're kind of making our own homemade version that's because no one in Wisconsin is getting jalapeno sour cream <laughs> they can't yeah people don't even eat spicy here so anyway, if you guys haven't had green salsa, it's usually not as hot as a red salsa. This is medium, so it's got a little bit of heat. We're just going to mix it with some sour yeah. cream. And we're just going to put this on the top. Put it in the fridge because then it like hardens up a little bit because you don't want it to turn to liquid. Some yeah. salsas are really liquidy and, and it turns, turns the sour cream into liquid. So. Yeah, and it lets all those flavors kind of meld together. Oh, that too. 
Okay, what so. What do you think? You think it needs a little eh, more? Yeah, maybe. I would do a little more. Okay. But it is medium, so we gotta be careful. All right. We've never even tasted it either. Well, give it a taste. So I hope it's not too Give crazy. it a taste and uh, add more or less according to your taste. I like the medium version here because, you know what, I like a little bit of heat but not crazy. So we'll taste this. How's it taste? I think it's fine. Okay. We'll put this in the fridge, guys. We'll put yeah. a cover on it and uh, let's get back to that uh, ground Ooh, that beef. that salsa is good, by the way. Okay. Shout out. And All it right. is zipping my tongue now, so. All right. There you go. This is medium. Oh yeah, it's hot. All right, guys, we'll put it in the <laughs> fridge. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, it's been simmering for a few minutes. You can see it's not completely done. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna season it. Now, I'm just gonna keep it simple as far as the seasoning go. I'm gonna add some uh, Lowry's seasoning salt. Look guys, you can use whatever seasonings you like. If you want to use taco seasoning, you can. We'll add a little bit of that. And then I would like to add some kind of garlic seasoning. You can use garlic powder, minced garlic. I'm using a Love a Foodie Garlic Lover Seasoning. I've done quite a few videos featuring these spices. I'll leave a link below. But it's got some great seasonings in here. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the garlic seasonings on here. Just to add some flavor. There we go, guys. Look at this. We'll give this a good stir. We'll continue to cook this until we don't see any red pieces of the ground beef and the onions and everything seem to be coming together. So not long. Just a few more minutes, guys. We'll be back shortly. All right, guys. It's been a few minutes. It's pretty much done. There is a little bit of fat in here. So I'll, I'm going to drain the fat, and I'm just going to keep this on a low simmer. And uh, you know what I need before we complete these? I need a, a beer. So I'll meet you guys downstairs for a beer, and then we'll come back, put the rest of the ingredients, and assemble these taco boats. Be back in a second. All right, you know what time it is. Time for a drink review. I'm having my first Oktoberfest beer of the year, Wistoberfest. This is from The Brewing Project. They're an uh, independent brewery down here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. What is this, 6.8% alcohol. Um, they make a beer called Gunpowder IPA, which you can get at a lot, a lot of local restaurants and bars in the area. Really, really good. So I'm looking forward to this. I haven't tried their Oktoberfest beer. Kind of got a cool cover or painting on there. A <laughs> skeleton guy with a pretzel. And the beer stein. Look. <laughs> this is my daughter, Ava Grace, Hi. my son, Kyle. Hello. <clears throat> Ava Grace is going to try something. She had one of these before. I forget what flavor. Nature's it Touch. It was peach, I think. Oh, it was peach? Now she's trying tangerine. This is flavored water beverage. So that's what she's having. And then Kyle is having, yet again, another Mountain Dew flavor. So they have this red, white, and blue series. They call them Freedom or something? What do they call them? I don't know what they call it. Anyway, he had the red one. What was that one called? Berry uh, something? I forgot the name of it, but it was Red Berry. Red Berry. Okay, so that was the red. Now we're doing white. This is Freedom Fusion. And again, you can see a skyline of the desert. It looks like out in Utah. And some fireworks. Which this one says it's lemonade and peach flavor. Yeah, let's see, it says, yeah, with a blast of lemonade and peach flavor. Ooh, lemonade and peach. Ironic that we're just talking about. Yeah, I like peach. So so that's what Kyle's having. So That sounds like an interesting drink to try, Kyle. I, I do always love on Mountain Dew the, the cool art designs. Not many yeah. companies, uh, like soda companies, sit and make like cool designs on their stuff. No, I can't shake this one for you. Or is this, uh, I, 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 oh, no, it's water. It's not carbonated. It's not carbonated. I okay. had the peach one and it All wasn't right. carbonated. I know you don't really care for carbonated stuff. Alright, let me see. Like I said, I really like that gunpowder IPA. They have a place down at Eau Claire where you can go there and get the beer fresh on tap. I haven't been down there. I don't get down to Eau Claire too often. But I wouldn't mind going there and checking it out. So far I've been very impressed with their beers. 
They're definitely stronger oh, than your normal, you know, than lining kugels or even spotted cow, which I like. Um, these are definitely, you know, IPA, like gunpowder IPA. Lining kugels, and I don't think spotted cow even make an IPA. So they make Oktoberfest. I haven't tried it, both of them yet, but this anyway. Interesting. Here you this go. This mine. Yeah. Lemon lime. Oh. Mm. Lemon lime with something else. This smells like. This smells to me like those Harbo peach gummies. Ooh, I like those. <laughs> that's, that's what this smells like. All right, Ava Grace, pick up your thing. As always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks again. Cheers. Cheers to our viewers. Okay, let's give it a sample. Oh, yeah, that is good. Mm hmm. Being an Oktoberfest beer, it's a little bit malt heavy in the beginning. Slight bit of hops and bitterness at the end, but very mild. It's seems like it's uh, mildly carbonated. Mmm. Good flavor. I like this, so I would definitely recommend this. Okay, although I know most of you guys watching probably can't get this. Anyway, what do you think? Tangerine. Good. Yeah? It's probably you... better than the peach one that I had. It's actually really good. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. She'd prefer that. All right, Cal, so you've had the red one, now you're having, uh, what is it, lemon lime and uh, peach, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. what do you think? Now, I'm a little biased. I thought this was going to be better from the start, but uh, but I, I would definitely say this is probably better. To me, it reminds me of my friend used to always uh, mix, like, Sprite and lemonade before they started putting it in, like, the the uh, bottles, which I think I did one of those on video, didn't we? Where it was like Sprite Lemonade, whatever. Where yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, it reminds me a lot of that, and um, it it does have a very strong peach flavor, and I, I definitely say this is probably one of my favorite Mountain Dews I've done so far. So oh. It's very good. Well, there you go. All right. Well, man. Awesome. Well, we all had uh, three good drinks. We think they're better than some of the other things we've tried. <laughs> Cheers again, guys. Cheers to our viewers. Thanks again, guys. We'll go upstairs, get ready on the cooking. Meet you up there in a second. All right, guys, so we drained it. It's nice. Not a lot of grease. Everything's coming together. So now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. I got it on a kind of low simmer. First thing we're going to add are some diced green chilies. This is a 7-ounce can. I love green chilies. Mm -hmm. Now in the original recipe she used a, a can of jalapenos, but I think that might be just too spicy for my family. So we're gonna we're gonna do the green chilies. And then to that we're gonna add some black beans. Now we kinda drain these and rinse them. We're gonna add some black beans. And then we need a little bit of liquid. So we're gonna be adding some green chili enchilada sauce. Now look, you can use the red enchilada sauce. You can use, you know, uh, you can uh, adjust it accordingly. Red. Yeah, the recipe, they actually used red. Yeah, but the green, we got mild, because we like green, but. Yeah, pour that second one in, because. Well, let's try half. Let's not go crazy, because you don't uh, want it's the taco. Not gonna, Monica, you, look, it's my not My thought is crazy. that the taco boat might turn to mush if it's no. too mushy. Well, let it simmer a little so bit. So I'm saying wait, and then you can always add, but you can't take away. Okay, mix everything together. We're going to let this come up to a simmer. And then, yeah, we'll let this simmer for a few minutes on the stovetop here, kind of thicken up a little bit, get these flavors to blend together. And that's going to be our filling for the tacos. Now the easy part is left. We're just going to assemble these tacos. So I'll meet you guys over at the cutting board. We'll kind of put these things together and go from there. All right, so now we're going to assemble these tacos. Now get a, a baking dish. I'm just using one of these uh, inexpensive uh, foil pans. I love these things, whether I throw it on the smoker in the oven, they're, they work well. So like I mentioned earlier, guys, these are really cool. These are the old El Paso soft tortilla flour bowls. And uh, these just came out. These are really cool. What I like about these is because, you know, you could use regular flour tortillas, but these are, they, these almost look like half a, 
you know, when you do uh, potato skin, it almost looks like a potato skin that's been hollowed out. It makes a perfect little tray to put the fillings and the cheese and the rest of the things in here. So what I'm going to do first, like I said, I got one of these disposable trays. I'm just going to use some olive oil spray. I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom because I'm, I'm figuring this is going to stick. I should also mention I uh, preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Now if you're out using your smoker, you can throw these on the smoker as well. Probably wouldn't hurt, but you know, these are only going to be on there to heat everything up, melt the cheese, so probably around 10 minutes. So check these things out, guys. It's like a little tiny, <laughs> little tiny boat. So let me see what the best way. I got a couple trays if need be, which I think I might. I was thinking I might be able to fit two in here. Well, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to do two deep. And I'll get another tray as well. We're going to crowd these up, which will be fine. Let's uh, get them rearranged in a, some kind of cooking. Can we do four? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do four. Because that's how many I had. It looks like there's eight per package. So let me see. I wish the foil pan was a little bit larger. But you know what? This will work. Kind of make sure the sides are up. Alright, there we go. Let's get this out. All right, I'll get another foil pan, do the other uh, eight, and then we'll assemble these tacos, guys. Look how easy this is. Be back in a second. All right, I just took it off the stove top. Look at this, man. Oh, man, oh, man. And I got a slotted spoon just because I want to make sure these things don't get too uh, liquidified with too much hot liquid that might uh, soak through. So let's, uh, whoops, let's get these things assembled. And uh, it's not very complicated here. Hey guys, so we're just going to take one of these and we're just going to put a little, little of this filling in each little taco shell. And what's What are really cool about these shells is you can use whatever filling you want. You want to put some pork, you want to put some chicken. You can even use beef. It doesn't even matter. Just fill it up with your favorite ingredients. Look at this. Oh yeah, these are going to be good. I love these little taco boats. Because look how well they hold up. Now I can just pop this in the oven. Make sure we get enough uh, filling in each taco. Just like that, guys. Look at this. Okay. Let's fill the other one. Let me fill these up, guys. I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, here they are. Just put enough filling in there to fill each one of these little uh, tortilla shells. All right, guys, last thing we need to do is just to top these with some cheese. Now, I'm using some sharp cheddar, which typically is, isn't what the first cheese you would think of <laughs> when making tacos, but that's what I have. Of course, use whatever cheese you want. Probably the best thing would be some kind of Mexican blend, Monterey Jack, you know, something like that. But you know what? Any cheese works. And who doesn't like uh, sharp cheddar? So yeah, put enough on here. All we're going to do now, 350 degree oven for around 10, 15 minutes, just till this cheese melts. These tortillas kind of get a little warm and uh, toasty for us to top with some of that uh, green salsa sour cream man look at this guys see look how easy that is that was not very complicated at all whoops look at these man like I said 350 oven I'll throw them in I'll meet you guys back in around 10 minutes when these are done. Alright guys, here they are, fresh out of the oven. 
I did, uh, once it hit 10 minutes, I put it on broiler high for like another minute and a half, 90 seconds. You can see some of those got a little kind of toasty on the edge, but man, look at that cheese is melting. Yeah, now all we got to do is pull them out, top them with some toppings, and yeah, let's uh, give these a sample. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, look at these, man. Wow. These little... Uh, tortilla boats or shells, whatever you want to call them, I would highly recommend them. Because look, it's not like a regular tortilla where it's all going to drip out. But uh, yeah, let's uh, put some toppings on this, get the family out here. We'll give these a sample in just a second. Alright guys, so now we're going to top them. We got some shredded lettuce here. Now you can do diced tomatoes, black olives, I mean... There's all kinds of things, whatever you like to top your uh, taco with. But we got just shredded lettuce, and then of course we have that uh, sauce we made earlier. And uh, yeah, we're going to kind of keep it simple. Just put some lettuce, a little bit of that sauce, and okay. uh, yeah, let's drizzle some of that. Oh yeah. And I like these boats, like I said, man. Look, you pick these up. They're holding everything perfectly. <laughs> I'm really impressed with these things. I never saw them before I watched that video, but man, what a great way to make some little uh, taco boats. This is exactly what it is, like a little boat. Or like I think it looks like a potato skin, you know. All right, guys. Be back in a second. Give this a taste. Tell you what we think. Welcome back everyone. I'm here with my whole family. My wife Monica, hey guys. my daughter Ava Grace, Hi. my son Kyle. We each have our own little taco boat these here. These are so cute, these little bowls. <laughs> yeah. I love so them. So cute. I'm not quite sure. I mean, part of me thinks I should use a knife and a fork, oh. but part of me just wants to pick it up. <laughs> right? The bottom looks like it's about to collapse. Well, yeah, there's it does. a lot of stuff in here. It's been... Let's do it. Alright, come on. Let's do it before that Ooh. happens. Cheers. This looks like... This looks like... Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I can taste that green mm. those green chilies. Mm -hmm. And that green enchilada sauce. Oh I like it. What do you think? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things where it's like it Two is like up. a soft tortilla made into a bowl. We've never had these. Mm -hmm. Made into a bowl, but it's kinda like you gotta treat it like a taco. You can't like if you overfill it because it's a bowl, you better be ready to eat quick. Oh, yeah, and you can also cut but it, it up like good. a little knife and a fork. But it's good. I it's don't know if I do that. Mmm. That might get messy. Mmm. What do you think, Al? Good. Is it, is it better than Taco John's? I could imagine, though, you couldn't have these out. Like, this would be perfect for a party, but if everyone was eating, like, right then, mm. because you can probably leave these out for too long if they're going to, like, collapse. Mm. At the bottom. Exactly. But, um, Agreed. Look at mine now. It's already all over. Well, yeah, but they're very good for us. I did stuff like, them. Probably more chocolate. filling than we needed to, but There's liquid it's though. dinner, man. So, hey. This would be good for like a house party. Just mm -hmm. be careful not to make your meat and bean mixture too liquidy. Because this is what happens. It'll fall through the bottom of your... I think it's just um, heat. Yeah, too. Mm. What do you think, fresh? Whatever it is. All right. It's, it's good though. It's me. really good. Look, guys, it's quick, easy tacos, man. I mean, and if you can find these shells, pick them up, man. I'm really impressed with these things. This is kind of a game changer. You can put stuff them with whatever yeah. you want, man. Oh, no, it's good. Throw them in the oven for ten minutes. Mm hmm. Oh, we could think of a lot of things. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. As always, guys, I appreciate watching the video. If you like it, please hit the like button. This logo on my shirt, the logo on the bottom uh -huh. of the screen, click on that. You can subscribe to my channel. Please do that because it really helps my channel grow. And I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, where I have all my video recipes. Please go check that out as well. Did you say recipes? Recipes. <laughs> yeah. New word. All right. Yes. Well, check those out. Like carburetor. Lots of recipes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is really oh, good. This is good. Like I mentioned, you can also use the red enchilada sauce. 
mm. and put like red salsa instead of the green. Mm. Salsa verde. I'm happy with the green meal. No, I like the green. Mm -hmm. I think this tastes good. What do you think, Kyle? I like green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our family loves green. green the red right kind of right upsets there. our stomach the older we get. It's hit and miss. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just stick with green. I got no problem with red, but green's got a better flavor. Green is opinion. good. Yeah, I think green was my favorite as well. Agreed. Well, we all agree on one thing. <laughs> Yeah, we like green and we like these tacos. So. And we love each other. I'll leave all the uh, measurements and everything else, directions for the recipe down below as well, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. Very good.